everybody, Castle 55 here, and we're finally rebooting this in Celebration 4, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Alpha Sapphire, and blah blah blah, we don't care. So yeah, I am rebooting this, I want to turn some stuff, I want to change some stuff first, eh, what should I go with, eh, there, there we go. I think that'll do. So, I know the internal batteries run dry because this is an emulator. Alright, let's get started then. <laughs> Hello, Professor Birch. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live so alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times cooperative workmates. And sometimes, we bend together and battle others like us. But despite our, despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I have been undertaking research. That is what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or are you a girl? I'm a guy. Alright, what is your name? What's your name? Whatever. <laughs> and by the way, this is a ran- This is a randomized Nuzlocke, by the way. As you probably could tell with them, <laughs> random Pokemon that came up. So it's Track. Ah, okay. Your Track, who's moving to my hometown of Littlewood. Root. I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon. Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams and adventures and friendship awaits. Wait, whatever. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Alright, now. Various things have been changed, such as... Well, okay. While all this is going on, um, I think I should explain some stuff. I have the usual Nuzlocke rules, as most people do. Yes. So. You should... If you don't know... Mezlox, basically, I've done one, failed it, and, well, here's a basic rundown, rundown of what Nuzlocke are. Nuzlox, basically a way of making Pokemon games harder. <laughs> and I decided to randomize it, which makes it even harder, or easier, if you're luck. So, what's, what's been changed? Well, let me tell ya. The wild Pokemon have been randomized. The the basic static Pokemon that you would encounter have not, though. So if we encounter Groudon, we're going to encounter Groudon. And various other things. I don't think that time matters, so yeah. The trainer's Pokemon have been randomized. Oh, I forgot to say. Um what happens is you can get Wonder Guard, and I decided to disable me being able to ever get Wonder Guard unless I get a Pokemon that would normally have it, if they make it that you can still, but I'm not going to get Wonder Guard. But my opponents won't have Wonder Guard in the early game either. All the teams have been randomized, but Pokemon movesets have not. So they can still learn the moves they would normally learn and all that such good stuff. And other st various stuff. Oh, one of the bigger changes is all the moves act as they would in Generation 6. I'm So like, they would have the same PP, same base power, same effects, etc, etc. And same typing if applies, but of course it doesn't add in the fairy type, so it, any any types that were changed to fairy type would be, remain the type they were. 
So, what's the rules? Well, I realize that I went on a random tangent, but the rules, the base, the base rules that I have in place are as follows. If a Pokemon dies, if a Pokemon faints, it's dead. End of story. And I have to put it in a box. If, uh... If I can only catch one Pokemon per an area. Like, say, I go from Route A to Route B, I can only catch Pokemon... The first Pokemon encounter in Route A, and the first Pokemon encounter in Route B. I can't not catch more Pokemon from that. Or if Route A to Town B, or... To, or from... Town A to Route B, or from Route A to Area B, etc, etc. Okay, let me think. Oh, I must nickname all the Pokemon I catch. Yes, I must nickname them all. Also, and finally, the, the last base rule. Yes. The last base rule is, unless something terribly goes wrong, not in the game, but with the recording itself, I must stick with the recording, and it must be uploaded. But, yeah. So! Speed up, random speed up, okay, now. The extra rules I have in place, of course. If I black out, game over, I don't get a second chance, I don't- the other Pokemon I caught. Um, let me see what else. Oh, right. I technically don't start the Nuzlocke until I've gathered my Pokeballs, so until I have Pokeballs, the Nuzlocke isn't really started, as I don't want to have to have no, not be able to have Pokeballs and then run into a wild encounter. Oh, hey. yes. Okay, some rules that I've, I cannot use Pokemon. I cannot use PCs or an, or Pokemon centers to heal my Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going with Blastoise. I must rely on items. Also, I cannot have any more than 20 20 com, com eh. I cannot have any more than 20 combined Pokeballs at a time. And I cannot have any more than 40 Healing items combined at one time. I specify healing items as items that are in your item bag, item part of your bag, and and the PP restoring healing items, the status restoring healing items, and the potion he and the potions, of course. I do not count berries as healing items, so I can have as many berries as I want. Uh, okay, there goes the randomness in that water absorb. I can I also cannot level up my Pokemon past the I cannot level up my Pokemon past the gym leader slash champion's highest level. A common rule. I'm trying to think what else. Oh right. I cannot use any more than five healing items per battle that restore my HP. I may use I may use additional healing items to restore status effects and PP, but any any items that restore HP I cannot use more than five of. So I think that's it. I'll I'll put all my Pokemon rules that I have typed out and all the and all the stuff that I have ready for that I've already typed out to post in the in the in the description. Poor, poor towel. Tortal. That works. <laughs> Tortal. Alright. So, like I said, I'm doing this to celebrate the release of Omega Ruby and 
Alpha Sapphire, and, um, okay, as you can see on the thing, that uh, my time's getting kind of tinnish, past tinnish. It's 11, it's in the 1120, 1121, 1122, so yeah, problem with the recording thing I use, um, audio likes to sync if I record for too long. So, in order to counteract that, I'm going to be ending the recording here, and then I'll be starting back up the recording. You won't notice a thing, though, besides a jump besides a jump cut. So, let's end that recording now. Okay, we are back. Back. We are back. We are back, 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 back. Back, 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 back. Yes, we got. So yes, so yes, you just saw what happened with that squad battle. So we can, and luckily we can just walk through the grass without fear of running. You know, because even if we do, we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Hello, are you gonna give me a potion? Yes, you are. Thank you. Do 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 any time. Okay. Okay, you don't have Pokeballs. You're not gonna have Pokeballs till after I till after I well I managed to beat and get back to my town. <laughs> like I said, I don't have to worry about the Nuzlocke rules until I get my Pokeballs. Except for naming Pokemon, of course, because that's kind of you know, And battle start! Let's see what our random Pokemon is. Elekid. Alright. Portal. Alright, Portal, wherever. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna run. I don't wanna fight any more Pokemon yet. That feels like it. See what Pokemon you got. Hey, Chancy. Tortal. Bubble attack. Blah 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 blah. Wait, I forgot to check what Tortal's ability is. Um, I, I should quickly do that. <laughs> Shield dust. Wait, doesn't that mean it prevents stuff? Wait, thinking. I gotta think about this. Um, what does Sheer Dust do, if I remember correctly? It, it says it prevents that effect, so I, I'm thinking it doesn't prevent stuff like par paralysis from a thunderbolt from harming us. Hmm. What do you know? Also, just realized I'm using a special attack on on a special wall. <laughs> wow. Oh, and there goes my attack. I should have attacked with. Tackle more soon. Eh, tear whip, tail whip. Don't you have any attacking moves, May? There we go. So apparently, May's starter is just gonna be a big bulk of a Pokemon. Ooh, we leveled up. We level up again. We leveled up a third time from a chance. <laughs> we leveled up again. We leveled up three times from a chance. <laughs> but yeah. So why am I going? Why am I? So what am I going? What? Why am I saying why? Why am I saying why? <gasps> what am I going to do to that? I. That I well. I happen to oh over is just simply not use them in the battle. Which would suck in the case of the war because if I like I said, blackout equals game over, so if I lose the war, I lose the game. 
I'm automatically walking up. Got a Pokedex. And I got five Pokeballs. I've also randomized field items completely. So I could get a really good field item or really crappy. But they can't be glitch items or key items. For me, so that's a pretty good thing. Sweet. I got the running shoes. I know how to use the running shoes. <laughs> now I can run. Whoa! I can run fast. <laughs> Gotta go fast. And I didn't mean to go back inside. Faster, faster, f f faster. Okay, I gotta make sure that this is actually Pokeballs. They are. So good, it didn't randomize that. Okay, time for our first Pokemon encounter. And survey says... Ooh, nice. I don't know what this Pokemon's gonna have up its sleeve. Let's just try to... First, first encounter. I did wonder. I think that chance may have just screwed me over getting Pokemon for a bit. Let's try this again! A blue. I'll just try, try throwing a Pokeball. Let's see if I get lucky. Nope. Ground. A swarm blue might be nice to have if I can catch it with the with four pokeballs. Think. Eh. Oak. Wait. No, it's a normal flying type and becomes a dragon flying type. Eh. Catch. One. Ah! <laughs> Let me see what stat is stronger. Because obviously that summary... It's more proficient in special attack, so... Basically, tackle would be my best bet. Of not knocking it out. But, if I do knock it out, I'm kinda screwed over. Oh, good. Just don't be a critical. Don't be a crit. Good. Good. I don't remember if I used Growl on me before, but... Pokeball, go! Alright. We got Swab Blue. Like Nick. The only reason that the PC would be used to heal Pokemon, of course, is the automatic. Is because the automatic gets into it. There, if you have 6 plus, so that I can't control that. What should I nickname this thing? Da -da -da. is a good name. Okay, um, thinking about it now, I might have to change up my no Pokemon Cinder rule because of PP. Um, okay. That'll work. I'm only allowed to use the Pokemon Center to heal up PP, which means my Pokemon must be at full health before I I'm gonna buy ten of these at one time, so I can get a Premier Ball. Um, well, sorry. 
buy eight more. You know what? I'm gonna spend this on a potion. Spit, but... Potions. Alright. All the potions I can get. I don't have to worry about my potion limit for a while. For a while, so... I have five potions. Yay. I definitely need to hear Lori up. And now here are Tortal up. Okay. Go ahead and use the Pokemon Center since I killed the Oh, which also would mean if I had to use if my Pokemon had a stat effect, that would have to be healed first. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna heal up and end the episode. This was sure a productive episode. So, next time we'll be heading on to the next town, seeing if we can catch another Pokemon, and seeing if we can somehow manage to not die. I don't think we'll be dying for a while because we have Blastoise, but you never know. We could run into a Legendary. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.